Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Brother Jibril, also known as Jibril by the will. So my friends out there in the internet, Bill. Uh, it's been a while since I attempted to record anything, but I've been inspired in light of the uh, recent activities in the media to write um, what I've titled. Media's Brain Seed Bullet. So without further ado. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is what must be said before I begin. It's a dedication to Allah Most High, invoking His blessings, grace, and mercy upon me as I begin to undertake the task. This task. I have something to say today. Like Stephen Wonder is saying, love's in need of love today. But it's a little bit more than that because of the fact that when knowledge is given by Allah, only Allah can take it back. Though they try to anesthetize with drugs in their seat, what is inherently yours is given by Him only indeed. Take heed of the warnings, labels given you to collect, of the danger that comes from the media's brain to see bullet. It is written that your Lord is my Lord, and he will judge between us, and justice across the board is what can no longer be ignored. They try to steal what is yours, and with weeds weaving a path of deceit. Indeed, the need for action must be taken to defend your mind from the attack that traps the bloodline flow to the brain like a vine full of wine, causing a drunken state of mind. Too much alcohol makes you blind, deaf, and dumb. Numb are the senses and sentences blur out senseless, relentless spouts. The jury is out, and the sentence for you is a lifetime of doubt. The media's portrayal of life is a betrayal of truth. The chronological lies are fabricated from the studio's booth. It's up to you, the individual, to like Ripley's Believe It or Not, and spot the plot inserted between the show's commercial spots. Let not thine own eyes deceive you into believing that what you're seeing is all true. When the biological is fit, the benefit befit your own logic too. Let not the lies cause you to deny what you rely on instincts distinct from taste, touch, smell, hearing, and sight. The latter need not contact or have contact but indeed needs light. The mind's eye is the filter in which we decipher the info. In flows the infrared and the ultraviolet. As you watch the boob tube and the show's pilot, the plane to the brain and leaves a stain of exhaust fumes that taint the memory, the memory of a time when men gathered in a circle to tell stories of days of old, triumphs and glories of and in the real world. The media seething, deceiving brain bullet seed wants you to believe that it's true that the boogeyman's in the closet next door and is gonna get you. They prey on your fears as they jump and yell, boo! So you jump back a step and take a step back and hold your heart. Startled for the moment and you wait for your pulse to restart. Your thoughts mode and faculties on hold for the moment until you get a grip on the trip that you slip for just a second and almost overreacted. Don't underreact neither, brother, but act nonetheless. Stand strong and take a defensive pose and bold stance as you prepare to advance on the trance-induced attack from the fourth branch of the government's no longer secret weapon of mass destruction. You realize the impact of the effects the media brain see bullet that the enemies to the mind just shot at you can possibly have on you, but you don't lose your cool because you need your cool as you assess the damage and you realize you're under attack and took hits to the head and subsequently have suffered a psychological wound to the mental, but not the least of the physical is harm. So you think and you think and you think so hard on what went down. You get migraines regularly now and you're losing sleep from the post-traumatic syndrome you suffer from the hits of the media's brain seed bullet from the full magazine magnum machine gun 
The clip's now empty and ready to reload to unload on who is the next victim victim of the system of warfare. I wonder. It is all of you who sit there comfortably watching the tube as it subliminally sends sublime signals and waves to your brain, waving goodbye to logics, logistics, penetrating the eye sockets, circuit nerves, endings in the mind, poisoning it with illogical ideas and idolatry ideals and your head spins dizzy on a wheel of fortune or better yet let's make a deal if you sell them your soul then they'll make you into a star with commercial appeal help them make the endorsements of products better still what's the matter you don't look so good now are you ill not to worry though here it comes the commercial for the pill for all of your ills. This one is for insomnia. But wait before you take it. Make it might cause dizziness, vomiting, restlessness, nausea, unusual dream patterns, hallucinations, depression, headaches, thoughts of suicide. And what the hell are we babbling about, man? I'd rather not sleep, Jack. This pill could cause a heart attack as well. But oh well, all is well that ends well. But this won't end well, cause now you're dealing with a brain swell that may cause an aneurysm in need of surgery to relieve the pressure caused by the media schism schemes. So you bloodlet, bloody from the trauma of the bloodlust, bloodless media's brain sees bullets. The biggest drug pushes today are the pharmaceutical companies, approved by the FDA and the FDA. The only difference between them and street dealers is the plaque that says it's okay. Then there's the oxymoronic oxycodone induced dichotomy of Dr. Murray's role in the death of Michael Jackson and the pain he caused his family. I pray may God have mercy on his soul. So this is it. People are sick of this shh. It must all come to a stop now. Too many of our leaders and role models like King are quitting, shot down off the mountain top after having a having a dream. I've seen the promised land. All that's left is a legacy of a great man. August 28, 2010. Today, Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin chose today of all days to say they long for better days when America's leaders own slaves. And in their own way, they say their world was more wonderful when the new world order was not so colorful. So as you watch, so as ye watcheth, what if theme tidings worthy knoweth thou that thy big brother watcheth over thee? The most amazing videos captured it all and all for, and for all to see. Nothing is sacred and private and anything goes. The reality shows giving fame to those who clown color I suppose. The flavor of love with me and Bobby Brown and so many more. Who knows if the fear factor is real. When you're 16 and pregnant with 9 kids and counting 30 days, 30 seconds of fame If 50 Cent has the money and the power for the 8th in the ocean Or if 9 by design has a double shot of love And is addicted to the agency from the adventures in Hollywood The age of love is on the airline being repoed by all The all-American girl An amazing race to see who's the biggest loser on the best dance crew that's dancing with the stars. Then you got the American idols, inventors, loggers, pickers, dreams, derbies, and juniors doing anything for love. Then the apprentice is asking, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Or are you hot, armed, and famous enough for arranged marriage with Ashley Simpson? The bachelorette with the bachelor, the bad girl club on Baldwin Hills are banking on Hollywood's basketball wives. Battleground Earth hosts the battle of the network reality stars. Beauty and the Geeks big borrowing deal by being Bobby Brown. The benefactors better half on Beverly Hills. Big Brother's boarding house boot camp with Brandy and Ray J. Breaking through with Tony Robbins as Brent Michaels by Zillow's bromance the buried life of hoarding. The celebrity apprentice circus. Cookie Showdown, duets, fit clubs, and rehabs with Dr. Drew in the sober house. Have a change of heart going cold turkey with the contender on cops. Chris, Chris Angel's 
Mind freak, the croc hunter, who's now pushing up daisies of love. Now the DEA's deadliest catch is gonna deal or no deal with the Dion and Pilar on prime time, or be destroyed in seconds from the dirty jobs. Done with all the Bamiana, who's understood well by the dog whisperers, who don't forget the lyrics. It's a doggy dog double exposure downfall. Dr. Steve is doing his dream job like Eddie Griffith going for broke. The ex wives club exterminator needs the extreme makeover so he can face his fear factor within the first 48 hours. For the love of money, Gene Simmons sold his family jewels. He went to farm on the great American road trip. Growing up, Gotti will get you to the New Harlem Heights. Go to Hell's Kitchen for a hell day and watch the high school musical reunion. The high satiety on the hill. See hoarders buried alive. Hogan knows best, but I love New York. You'd rather work for Diddy than drive a nice road truck. Intervention is needed for the Iron Chef, who acts like a jackass on Jersey Shores. Jesse James is the dead man, jingles Joe Millionaire. Joe Schmo, John and Kate plus eight, keeping with the Keeping up with the Kardashians, Kendra, and Kimura. Living in the fab lane. LA ink tattooed pink and left the last comic standing. Making the band got out of hand. The mall cops on the manhunt. Omarosa's ultimate merger with Osborne's and Oprah. Caused a parking lot war between Paris Hilton and her new BFF. They settled out of the, pol- the people's court and pipped a ride to Prankville and then got punked by the Ashton Crutcher. Do the real housewives stand the real chance of love in the real world where the road rules the rock of love and runs house? Or are they using scare taxes to cause the scream queen to search for the most talented kid in America? She's got the look of sheer genius living the single life. So you think you can dance amongst the spin crowd. The surreal life is good in Snoop Dogg's fatherhood. The survivors on Temptation Island attended the Tula Academy to learn the trade of trading spaces and spouses. To wage whale wars is what Chile wants and to know what not to wear when women rule the world. While you were out, who's your daddy? When they did the white swap, now you're cut off because your mama don't dance on the X Factor spots. Mm-hmm. Reality TV shows have run amok. Your discretion is advised. The following program contains subject matter unsuitable for anybody and everybody. The characters portrayed have no sense of dignity, self-control, and self-respect. It may cause you to lose touch with reality. Yet is the irony of the whole jacked up concept of reality TV defects. We try to make you forget that we have not overcome yet. We still have no health care and education and opportunities are not available and fair to all and all bets are off. It's been injected in your brain that the goal is to achieve fame by any means necessary and at the cost of selling your soul. And to this I say, hell no, we won't go. They try to make you believe you gotta do this or ought to do that when in fact the only goal is to control the very way that you act and keep track of you and all that you do under surveillance and observation. The nation's under attack, under the cover of the Big Brother Society has been in effect. Look around you and you see that the signs are clear for those who reflect. Allah forgive me but I'm tired and I don't like what I'm seeing. It's time to do something about it. I just can't allow it to continue without at least saying something. So I'll shout it out loud to you all. United we stand, yet divided we fall. So be a part of the solution and not part of the problem. Come together, make our stand, take a chance and take a stance like a band in the hand, fist. I don't have all the answers, but together we can formulate a plan. They're waging war on us and not just Muslims, but on all people of color who don't have the color of money shaded in their pockets. It's a mental suicide they wish for you to commit by way of Russian roulette with the media's brain seed bullet. Bye.